Hello, dear friends, my lovely audiences. Welcome to the East West Show, G and E, with Jack Chow on this uh, East West Show. Uh, we have lots of beautiful cities that, uh, with a name, uh, spread about all over the world. But among the names, Yorba Linda is the big one. And Yorba Linda, the name of Yorba Linda gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Not only because the city is beautiful, this is the largest, quiet, and nice, and in every way, which we'll go later into details, but the fact of uh, the existence of uh, the Nixon Library, the birthplace of Nick, uh, former President uh, Richard Nixon, that adds a lot of glory to the city. And now, in the subject, in talking about the beautiful Yorba Linda, which is the show title for today, I have my pleasure. To be visited by Mayor of Yorba Linda, Mr. Jim Hernandez. Sir, welcome here, please. Thank you, Jack. I appreciate that. I appreciate the positive comments about the city of Yorba Linda. Mm -hmm. uh, Yorba Linda is a big name, and the land is beautiful, and the library is beautiful, everything, everywhere. Once you enter into the city by the limit, I mean, the lemon line, you know, the city lemon line, city limit. you started as, as if you went, enter a different world. The different feeling started right away. So to, I mean, to you, you're an insider, all right? To us outsiders, <laughs> we feel that way. What causes that kind of feeling? I think it's the way the city was developed initially. Mm -hmm. uh, Yorba Linda, which has been around since the early 1900s, probably 1905, mm -hmm. when the first farmers came into that area. Uh, and even before then, we had uh, uh, a lot of the the Spanish conquistadors that came into that area mm -hmm. uh, and settled, Bernardo Yorba's uh, family going all the way back since that time, is what the city is named after. It's the Bern mm -hmm. uh, Yorba family. Uh -huh. uh, we became incorporated in 1967, but that feeling you get is that Yorba Linda always wanted to be a small town, uh, rural environment where everybody knew each other. And that's the sense you feel when you come into town. Mm. And also you're talking about style though. The air tastes different. The style are different. The, even the roads are wider. Yeah, uh, your, your Berlin the Boulevard, for example. Correct. So street, so wide. It can, well, compare any major cities. For example, in Pasadena, you never find a street that wide, that straight, right? So that together, got to give you a culture kind of thing. Well, I think it, it does, and that was by design. Mm -hmm. We purposely made the streets wide. The, the home lots are big, a mm -hmm. lot of horse property. There was early on a lot of, uh, uh, it was an equestrian community also. Oh, So a community. lot of land, big homes. Uh, so we, we tried to maintain that. Uh, wide streets, so you get a sense of openness. And that's really what you want to see mm -hmm. in, in your community. And we have a very high level of uh, requirements that we put on developers, that only really high quality projects come into our city. Uh -huh. And we work very hard at that to maintain You that. want nothing but the best. Just the best. <laughs> only the best. <laughs> All right, I believe the mayor is the best. Well. All right, something about the mayor, please. Well, uh, I'm. this is my fifth year now. I was elected in 2012. Mm. Uh, Politics was not on my bucket list. Actually, I'm a, I was a career police officer, mm -hmm. rose to the ranks of chief of police, and retired uh, after 35 years. All right. Uh, I loved what I did, mm -hmm. and uh, when I came back home, my wife asked that we refocus now our energy into our community. All right. And uh, I, I've been a community kind of guy my whole mm -hmm. career. I've mm -hmm. been involved in Rotary and the YMCA. Uh. I, I believe in giving back, and that's what I found in police work. Mm -hmm. And so it was a natural to see, okay, what's going on in the city? And uh, I love our city. I've, I'm, we've been there almost 35 years off and on. And so I enjoy the quality of our city. I want to make sure that we maintain that quality. Mm -hmm. And that kind of drove me to politics. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. And uh, I, I say as an outsider, uh, I've been a guide to, tour guide to my friends from China all the time. Every time they're here, I mm -hmm. render a trip. They ask me on the list, the first on the list, to go see Yorba Linda, right? Uh, of course, the reason being so natural because of the legacy that uh, President Richard Nixon has left and has followed even these days. If not enlarged, it is even in these days, right? So now, as a mayor of city of Yorba Linda, how do you weigh the, uh, the, the importance of the library, please? Well, number one, it, mm -hmm. it is truly our gem. 
We've, we are one of 13 cities in the United States that has a presidential library. Mm -hmm. We're very proud of that fact. All right. And there's only two in California. There's, of course, mm -hmm. Ronald Reagan mm -hmm. and Yorba Linda. By, Nixon. by, by. Uh, Simi Valley. Yeah, yes. Simi Valley, through uh, 118. Yeah. That is correct. And mm -hmm. so we take a lot of pride in that. And uh -huh. they just spent millions of dollars in an upgrade to that uh, facility, mm -hmm. uh, which is well worth seeing. But it is actually the birthplace and the burial site of our president, President mm -hmm. Richard Nixon, and the his green wife. The man was born Nixon. there. Born and, there and buried there. And ended up there. Correct. Mm -hmm. And so we have a lot of pride in that. Beautiful facility. Uh, but beyond that, uh, take young people to see a bit of history. and it'll, it'll walk you all the way through a very turbulent period of time in, mm -hmm. in our history, through the 60s, Vietnam War. But more importantly, it's also a, an opportunity here. Quality speakers, they have dynamite speakers there uh, on a regular basis. I just heard... General Petraeus speak there, oh. but we've had, boy, you name it, any uh, the who's who mm -hmm. on the political scene mm -hmm. has spoken there. Uh, the Bush sisters uh, were there just, Barbara and uh, Jenna were just there last month. So a lot of top-notch quality speakers. Kessinger, mm -hmm. Kessinger mm -hmm. uh, boy, you name it, we've had them. Yeah. Uh, of course, domestically, it has a uh, very big reputation. Internationally, it does so, too. Uh, to my folks back in China. I came from China, even though staying here for more than a quarter of a century, 34 years already, and I still weigh that uh, view China as my hometown. But the uh, thing is that all the way coming here, they want to see Nixon Library, right? So, and there was one time the library was so, so packed mm -hmm. and I had some even hard time arranging the schedule, mm -hmm. something like that, right? So it is the part of the 72 visit to China that broke ice. That gives the, the berry steep in the hearts of both Americans and the Chinese. How do you as a mayor weigh that kind of histor historical move? Well, number one, as you pointed out, Jack, it is historical. It opened the doors uh, to a nation heretofore we didn't know a whole lot about. I've been fortunate enough that I've been to China. Two mm -hmm. years ago, I went with a group of elected officials and, and got a chance to tour uh, the major cities in China. An amazing um, mm -hmm. and very educational process for me. But I think mm -hmm. what a lot of the Chinese or Asians in general see in Yorba Linda is that because we're a quality city, we're one mm -hmm. of the safest cities, mm -hmm. the safest city in Orange County and one of the safest in the United States. Economically, we're one of the most viable economic cities in the United States for a city with our population size. Mm -hmm. We have an outstanding school district, brand new high school, well, it's five years old now, Yorba Linda High School, top notch, and we have a lot of uh, strong, uh, vibrant uh, housing going up, quality housing, as I mentioned, beautiful yeah, homes sure, yes. on, on nice sized lots. Mm -hmm. So those are all quality of life issues that I think appeal to most people anyway, but mm -hmm. even throughout the United States and throughout the world, they say, Mm. We're, we're strategically located. We're close to the Pacific Ocean, mm. close to Disneyland, mm. Anaheim. Uh, we're close to L.A. County, uh, San Bernardino County, and Riverside County. So we're very strategically positioned to service that whole immediate area. Mm. And as you know, uh, Orange County is massively uh, uh, moving in the IT area with Irvine. And uh, a lot of those cities are now becoming a, an IT hub that's rivaling the Silicon Valley. So we're very proud mm. of that. Do I mean? Do your citizen, uh, or I mean, are your citizen of uh, uh, aware of the fact that uh, President Nixon had broke the ice that uh, made the started the U.S.-China relation, which we still benefit from? Yes, in a nutshell, Jack. Uh -huh. Richard Nixon is still considered a hometown hero. Mm -hmm. uh, we have great admiration for him. People only focus on the negative on the Watergate scandal versus no, that's all the other it's things that he a, did. To me, to me, it's yeah. the only question of who gets caught. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You agree, right? I agree. Right. Everybody does And that, we're seeing right. that now. In okay, fact, the things good. that he did were not near as bad as the things no, we're hearing no, no, now. No, 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 but no, the reality no. is, mm -hmm. I, I won't make excuses, the reality is mm -hmm. he did a lot of good things. He opened up yes. uh, detente in China. Mm -hmm. He ended the Vietnam War and, and got our, uh, mm -hmm. uh, our missing in action, our, our POWs, back yeah, home, yeah, uh, uh, continues to, to mm, research for the MIAs, mm, but he got our POWs back home. He, he uh, founded the EPA. A lot of people don't mm, realize that the Environmental mm, Protected Agency 
was the brainchild of Richard oh, Nixon. I see. So there's a lot of very positive mm. things that he's done that we don't, we don't give the, enough credit the, to. I would give a, a majority of credit to the detente that he made Huge. to to between the U.S. and China because I was back then I was young I was about something like a twenty year guy right so I knew that I got a chance to to to, to know that ex how exactly the tension was between Russia and China until President Nixon kicks in. Yes. So that brought number one the the detente. The detente later became to a handshake, and then the handshake goes on and on and on and on. Like say we drink water in China, we say we always think or remember who dug the wall. Well, I mean dug the well, right? So that kind of thing. Well, I think what you're pointing out too is mm -hmm. how today mm -hmm. we're reaping the benefits of that relationship. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah, it's yeah. critical. China mm -hmm. is a critical partner mm -hmm. of ours now, both economically and strategically from a security standpoint. Exactly. So I, I think that can only grow, uh, and that's important. And uh, I think it will continue to grow. Right. And yes, you asked, do our, do our citizens know the importance of that? I believe they do. Uh, in fact, we have a very large, growing mm -hmm. uh, Chinese population in our community, and they're excellent neighbors. They, they fit in well. Uh, they bring a lot to the plate. Excellent. In fact, we're opening up a new uh, uh, market in town we're very mm -hmm. proud of, Tokyo right. Central, which is going to be uh, an, an Asian market specializing okay. in fresh seafood and fresh vegetables and the spices All right. and Let's sushi bar. Let's take a short moment out. Oh, like sushi. So we come back, we'll talk about sushi. See you with FC. We'll be right back. With me today is Mayor of Yorba Linda, Mr. Jin Hernandez, a man that I adore so much for being a mayor of the lovely city of Yorba Linda. Stay with us. We'll be right back, please. Hello, my dear friends. Welcome back to the East West Show. Check Chow on the East West with Jin Yi TV. Today, I'm so honored that I have my dear friend, Mr. Jin Hernandez, Mayor of Yorba Linda, coming here on the show to share the beauty of the city, Yorba Linda, with our audiences. So, welcome back to Thank the you, show, Jack. sir. And we're talking about the um, the Asian Central right market. And we're talking about sushi, <laughs> oh, Japanese food, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So, and it is, is a newly uh, uh, created pro project or what? Yes, in fact, uh, it's, mm -hmm. it'll be operational in April of this, this coming up year. Uh, leases uh -huh. are signed and they're in the process mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. renovating it. It was an existing fresh market that never actually moved in. Mm. Fresh market uh, bought a bowling alley they remodeled it, they were going to open up a market. Mm. Then they made a business decision to bring all their uh, business back to their headquarters, corporate headquarters in North Carolina. Mm. So we had the building, mm. and we had been looking for a good fit. And when uh, Tokyo Central came along, Marikai, I believe is the mm. company name, wanted it, we thought, this is great. Uh, this is just what we need. And where it's going strategically, right across the street, is our new town center. Uh -huh. which is very exciting for the city of Yorba Linda. We have a new town center going in I see. that's going to feature uh, Bristol Farms. It's mm -hmm. going to have a Regal Theater mm -hmm. and a number of little shops going in and around and some real quality restaurants. Mm -hmm. And then directly across the street uh, is a new library that's going to be going in and a community center. So mm. we've got a lot of exciting things going on in the city All of Yorba right. Linda. The city only gets better. Oh, okay. absolutely. And on top of the city, sir, I always look at uh, the other side of the city every time I enter into another city. Uh, if you do pay attention, you see, you go through city after city after city, you see different tastes, you see different culture. In your city, I've been there so many times, I, 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 don't, I can't recall any moment seeing those uh, sacky pants, <laughs> right? Crazy girls, very loud people, wow, yelling, screaming, or crowd in the restaurant. You know, it's funny you say what that. What made the difference, please? It's funny you say that because we have some very nice cities further south of us, mm -hmm. uh, very wealthy cities, uh, Newport Beach, mm -hmm. uh, Irvine's. Those are cities where 
it's very visual wealth. Uh, you know, uh, very expensive cars, nice clothing. In your Belinda, it's very understated wealth. All right. We have mm -hmm. a lot of corporate presidents, mm -hmm. uh, very uh, prominent people that live in our city, mm -hmm. but it's very low key. Yes, yes We are yes, considered yes. a bedroom community. So our, our residents leave your Belinda each day to go work, and then they come home to the peace and quiet and serenity mm -hmm. of our community. We've worked very hard, so when you say the wild thing, we have a lot of, uh, it's a very well-educated community. Mm. We have parents that, that invest their time with their children. Mm. Uh, we have beautiful parks. We have over 100 miles of trail in our community. So it's a nice place to recreate. It's a place to relax and just to smell the roses, as they say, just mm. to take it easy. And that's, mm. that's the cultural image that we work on constantly. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Otherwise, I wouldn't have mentioned it. Yeah. I've been to New York, Newport Beach for several times too. Of course, I see the wealth. Beautiful uh, city. We're flaunting wealth. How about that? Very Visual flaunting. wealth, I Visual call it. Visual wealth, uh, very flaunting. But there in Yorba Linda, I don't see that. As, uh, at least uh, one thing I can assure you and my audience, go there, check, and just look at the way my way. We, my way, not your way, see the difference. No kind of, you go to San Gabriel, okay, I invite you. Uh, you check the restaurant by restaurant, room after room, door to door. And you will prove that I'm wrong. I, I'm right, you're wrong because of that. Mm. So now, I am asking one question I'm asking is that, what makes the difference? Money, we mentioned already, right? Tradition, education, what what makes it what makes it that that, that difference all of those things that you mentioned contribute but mm -hmm. i think the real difference is the quality of the people we mm -hmm. have people that are very family oriented strong sense of religion and a strong work ethic you combine all those things it doesn't mm -hmm. matter what ethnicity you are what matters is that you have a common bond of your patriotic we're a very patriotic community. We love our country. We Good. love our, yeah, yeah. our armed services. We do a lot on Veterans Day. Mm -hmm. And Richard Nixon Library really uh, cements that. Mm -hmm. But we have people that care about each other and their families, mm -hmm. and they want to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. You can't buy that. You can't import that. Those are, it's in the heart, and that's what we have. That's exactly the, the, the thing. Even last night, I had a discussion with my wife talking about the thing. My point was that uh, there are things you can buy that has a price, right? Why, why you can buy? Because it has a price. But there are things you can't buy. Why you can't buy? Because there's no price possible. That's Something exactly like that, right. right. And also, politically, do you see, I'm, I'm bothered, okay? I'm bothered, sir, for quite some time, especially the recent years with the left and right with the struggle thing. So do you see lots of political struggle in your city too, please? Actually, we don't because we are very, uh, a very fiscally conservative and a conservative community. Mm -hmm. So we don't get a lot of the other issues that surround us or you see in L.A. But I think you've hit on something. Mm -hmm. and, and I think the one thing that your Belinda has is that we have pride in our, in our country and pride in, as who we are, that we are a very giving people. Mm -hmm. uh, we we give a lot to charities, and we volunteer a lot. In mm. fact, my church, we just went out to uh, Skid Row yesterday morning. Mm. I took my granddaughter and, and her friend to go help out those less uh, fortunate than us. But the message that's being sent to my granddaughter is, to those much is given, much is expected. We need to go out and help our neighbors. And that's what you get the sense in our city. So politically, mm. you know, at some point in time, we need to hold people accountable. You need to be held accountable for your actions and that there are no free lunches. You know, everybody wants something free or they want to speak their mind, but they don't want to listen to somebody else. Mm. Well, our Constitution, which is our bedrock, gives us the right to disagree agreeably, not to disagree violently. Mm. And we need to start holding people accountable, especially our elected officials. When you're elected, you're elected to uphold the Constitution of the United States and the state of California. You don't get to pick and choose mm. what you want to enforce. You are not elected because of your party. No, right. absolutely not. I, well, I, I don't believe so. I'm a, I, the, in our city, we're nonpartisan. So there's not Republican, Democrat, mm. Independent. You don't have that. 
they vote on what they see in you as your values, your experience, mm. what do you bring to the plate. That's beautiful. Who are you as a person? Mm. That's what our people vote on. All right, very good. Uh, my dear audience, today uh, I'm talking about a city. As a matter of fact, I'm talking about culture behind the city, right? So as for a city, if you want to stand tall, you better have some culture. Uh, you can go, well, free market is one thing, but there's one another thing behind it. Even free market has a culture too. So stay with us. We'll be right back, please. Hello, lovely friends, my dear audiences. Welcome back to the show, my lovely fellow uh, Southern Californians, put it that way, okay? Welcome back to the show, talking about Yorba Linda. With me today is my friend, Jean, uh, Jean Hernandez, mayor of the uh, city of Yorba Linda, and Gloria, who put up his glorious service for 35 mm -hmm. tremendous years. And then walking home, pick up a job, doing for more for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good, good, good. And... Uh, a uh, lovely city as uh, Yorba Linda. It's a beautiful city. Uh, that is not a question. Uh, what I'm doing here is that I kind of peel the onion uh, layer by layer to see what's inside the city. And we, sure enough, found a word called culture. Mm -hmm. right? The word culture is uh, probably the core of the issue. And in the culture, though, sir, I really have to go different ways because there are different cultures. Right. Now with the culture of being politically right, that thing is splitting California, if not the whole country, almost to death. I'm so bothered to, I mean, by that. So as a mayor, as a strong conservative leader, what do you take on the politically, quote unquote, politically right, please? That's an interesting question that you pose, Jack. And the reality is, versus politically correct, versus doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. I think we need to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. uh, not because it's politically correct, because it's the right thing to do. Too often I, I see people demanding respect. Mm -hmm. You can't demand respect. No. You earn respect. You're We're not right. stupid. You're right. You're right. People mm -hmm. will see mm -hmm. somebody they're going to respect and follow and somebody they're not. Mm -hmm. And you can't just say, well, follow me because I'm a good guy. They want to see mm -hmm. that you put your mm -hmm. actions where your words mm -hmm. are. And if you do, they will follow. We get elected because our people do their homework. Exactly. They, they research. Yeah. They find out, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. strong conservative values. Gosh, this mayor has been married, you know, 48 years. Mm -hmm. uh, he's had a career in law enforcement 35 years. He's mm. dealt with difficult situations. That's what people saw when I got elected. Consistency. Very consistent. Consistency. And not trendy, not, yeah. oh, it's cool today to yeah, do this. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. So when a city, I believe the members of the council, the five of them, they may not think of themselves, themselves so important, but they are because they are five role models to the audiences. You know what I like about our council, and I'm mm. glad you mentioned that, Jack? Mm. We are all independent thinkers, mm -hmm. but we all have consistent core values that are the same. All right. We believe in our families, we believe in our country, mm -hmm. we believe in our religion, we believe in a hard work ethic, and we believe that you should spend fiscally frugal. Spend what you have, not what you don't have. Mm -hmm. And we all believe that way. So even though we may disagree on a vote, I'll respect my colleague how they vote because I know they did their homework, they just see it differently, and that's mm -hmm. okay. You don't want everybody thinking the same or nobody's thinking, but you do want everybody to have that consistent core values. I especially like your statement of doing, doing what is right, not the political right, right? What by nature is right. Well, just because you can do it doesn't mm -hmm. mean it's the right thing to do. You're right. You can burn our flag. Uh -huh. You can kneel uh, during uh -huh. the anthem. Uh -huh. You can by law, by our constitution, mm -hmm. and I spent 35 years enforcing that to make sure you had that right. Mm -hmm. But just because you can do it, doesn't mean you should do it. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm, I get very concerned with people that, that kneel during the uh, uh, anthem and mm -hmm. the flag for a very simple reason. That number one, that's the symbol. Our flag is a symbol that unites us, mm -hmm. not divides us. Mm -hmm. We should all get behind that because that's what yeah, allows yeah, us yeah, yeah, exactly. to protest. Exactly. And more importantly, I will say this, mm -hmm. anyone that kneels for a flag has never stood to receive a flag. Mm -hmm. 
I 100% support you on the flag issue. Okay, and they say they have big excuse that I'm not saluting him. Him means Donald Trump. Right. Donald Trump, the president, is no, not the flag. It's not Donald Trump's flag. It's the flag of the nation. That's exactly you right. You recall my legends, right? Yes. So the flag. That's right. Yep. Yeah, stands for I the pledge. nation. To me, that's a solemn prayer. Yes. People have died yeah. for us to be you able to do that. You cannot back up from that. That's right. Right. And then they, instead of doing sal uh, salute to the flag, they do something else. They call them constitutional. Okay, go ahead. Go, go, you go ahead and call it. But I feel so insulted. Right. Well, that's of course, uh, uh, because we are proud Americans. Mm -hmm. I, I love my country. Yeah. I'm proud. You know, my father fought in World War mm -hmm. II in the Pacific. All my brothers were in the service. I, I am proud of that, that legacy. Yeah, 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 you're and, right. And I get offended when people who, by the way, these are all pretty well-to-do millionaires that have mm. did very well in this country by that flag. Mm. They're the ones that protest. Now, I don't have a problem with having honest dialogue. Let's sit down and talk. You got a beef, you got a problem, mm. and I know a lot of them have a problem with police work. I've dealt with that. Sit down, let's talk. I've done the job. All right. I'm more than willing to talk yeah, to you about yeah, it. Right, right. What my perspective is, mm -hmm. you know, do we have bad police officers? Like in anything, you know, we pick from the human race. You have the same strengths and weaknesses that are out there. But by and large, the vast majority of men and women that don the uniform, put that badge on, are good, honest people who are trying to do the right thing in a very, very difficult uh, climate. To me, I don't know. I don't know if, uh, if it is a politically right, quote unquote, all right? <laughs> if I see somebody who does not salute the flag, I will personally raise a fight with him. <laughs> and so would I do to somebody who burns the national flag, right? So those are out of question, out of boundary issues. But issues in between, I'm talking about issues in between, all right? Okay, I'll give you an example. Talking about the uh, political right mm -hmm. that is reading the country, the state, even the small city, as the city, uh, without me having to mention the name, I'm talking about right now. Mm -hmm. They have a common issue over their uh, public service, right? And then there is a 50% going this way, 50% going the other way. I interviewed back then. I was in, I was a reporter on the street. I interviewed the left hand side, the right hand side. You know what I found? Okay, I check with them. They disagree for the purpose of disagreeing, and they disagree because they agree, and vice versa. Yes, and vice versa. All right. See, that's wrong. Though that's not why we were elected. No, we're elected to do the right States. thing, yes. not just to stop somebody You're else. Right. You're right. The, the whole issue with our president. He is the president. And not the system works, mm -hmm. and, and he was elected. Whether you like him or not, he is our president. And not the average Joe and the Seuss I interviewed. I interviewed exactly council members on mm -hmm. the left and the right. The left says, I disagree, I oppose it because they support it. Something like that. So this never happened to Yorba Linda. Voilà. Well, we try to oppose or support based on the evidence and facts. If the facts justify it, All support right. it, or don't support it. Mm -hmm. And I don't get upset with people that disagree with me, as long as we have dialogue. What I get upset with, Jack, is when people try to out-shout you down. Mm -hmm. Instead of wanting to make their point, make yeah, a valid yeah, yeah, point yeah, with yeah, me, yeah, yeah. they try to, they they try to verbally you. steamroll yes, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and I'll tell you, I, I see that a lot in our, in our mm -hmm. higher institutions of learning. Uh, as I told my granddaughter, she goes to college, and, and mm -hmm. we've had very spirited discussions. Okay. And what I try to tell her is, you know, sweetie, the job of your professor is to teach you how to think, not what to think. How to think means do your homework, do your research, vet the item, then make a, a common sense decision that you're comfortable with based on your education, your experience, mm -hmm. and, and your core values. Don't do it because somebody else tells you this is what you should think. Yeah, this person's exactly, bad, so I want exactly, you to think exactly. he's bad too. Mm -hmm. You know, our children don't mm -hmm. don't learn prejudice. It's a learned response. They learn it from their parents. Now our politicians uh, these days, at this very moment, except your Linda, who I respect, <laughs> <laughs> they seem to tend to do it that way. That way, they call upon people to think one direction, and the other one, the other side, do the same thing, right? They do, do the same thing now. Uh, to me, back to Donald Trump. Donald Trump is not a Euro president, not my president. He is the president of the United States. That's right. right. I didn't vote for him. 
Honestly, I didn't vote for him. Mm -hmm. He was my choice. However, once it was proven president, he's my president. I respect. And then people refused to bow, refused to salute because of him. No, I don't think so. I don't think that's right. That's, that's not our system. Our system says the process worked. The man was elected. Yes. You know, uh, I had to put up with a president for eight years. It wasn't my favorite president. Mm. But you know what? He was the president. And yep. I'll respect that position. Mm -hmm. But to hear people... And I mean, it's like they went wild and crazy. Mm -hmm. They start destroying things. You don't have a right to destroy other people's no, property. No, where, you don't have the right to do from? so. You know, if we want to disagree, disagree. Mm -hmm. Tell me why. Most of them won't. They'll start yeah, yeah. shouting or say, well, mm -hmm. Trump this, Trump that. I go, wait a minute, I'm not talking about him. Sit Tell me talk. about the other yeah, candidate. Talk. Let's yeah, talk yeah. about what did you see that I didn't. Help me understand it. Mm -hmm. They don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. That's where I, I say time out. This only works, democracy works mm -hmm. when, we, when we're able to mm -hmm. calmly, mm -hmm. rationally mm -hmm. discuss. Reasonable people can reasonably disagree. I get okay, it. All right, all right. That doesn't mean I have to beat you up over very it. Good. All right, all right, my dear friend. Very, very profound. Uh, I like this conversation. I like this intelligent conversation, and that tells you the basic, which is very ABC, right? Strand enough, right? You think? And we are talking about the highly intelligent conversation in a very babyish way. So things are, matter of fact, very simple, right? Now, dear friends, my lovely audience, with me is my good friend, Mayor of Yorba Linda, Jen Hernandez. Mr. Hernandez was a uh, service member on the uh, um, Chino Hill, right? Chino, Chino Ch Police uh, Chino, Department. Chino Police Department for 35 glorious years and a, a chief of police, a big position. And uh, I can still see uh, the chief style <laughs> <laughs> in him now. Okay, let's talk. Come on, let's talk. <laughs> like that kind of thing. All right. So let's take a very short moment now. When we come back, we put together the look of the city, the culture of the city, the politics of the city to create our next discussion. Please. All right. We'll be back. Hello, dear friends, my lovely audiences, uh, ladies and gentlemen, my dear fellow Angelinos, welcome back to the uh, East-West discussion. Today, we are talking about Yorba Linda. Of course, Yorba Linda is a city known by everybody. Uh, I do not have to add on any promotion to Yorba <laughs> Linda. I'm talking about taking Yorba Linda as an example. Why example? Because I, I found some kind of different taste. Uh, from the rest of the cities to see what's exactly in there. All right. Uh, with me is the mayor of Yorba Linda, who is capable of representing Yorba Linda, <laughs> to talk about Yorba Linda, Mr. Jen Hernandez, mayor of Yorba Linda, and a former PD service member, and with the chief of police of Chino Police Department, Mr. Jen Hernandez, once again, welcome to the show. Thank you, Jack. Right. Thank you for having me here. Uh, thank you very much. I thank you very much for the fact that, uh, you know what, when you sit here starting talking, I had uh, two images in my mind. Uh, mayor of the old style mayor, kind of like, like that kind of mayor <laughs> we see in the movie, and then, or probably a pastor, kind of, right? <laughs> okay, now, when we started talking, I started to see a developer, uh -huh. and then I still started uh, to see a university university uh, professor or something. Thing. And now I put together, I see a vivid chief, <laughs> police chief. I like that uh, part that they say, "Hey, let's talk, let's talk, just talk, right?" Okay. Speaking of a talk, we have a country uh, being uh, led too much to the politically right, right. A political right, uh, I don't know. Uh, political left, I don't know. But they are very mischievous, right? So, and uh, with Mayor Hernandez, I would like to uh, to clarify the, this this kind of a mysterious part or uh, whatever missing part, okay? About the split, why people should do, why people are doing this. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's really deep, Jack, and mm. I, I think a lot of it has to do with 
Most people, quite honestly, are very busy and don't have time for politics. Mm -hmm. So, which is why they elect people like that me. That is the kind of politics. Yeah, they, they elect people like me to mm. represent them. Mm. They say, okay, I know your experience. I know your background. Mm. I trust you. Okay. And let me tell you, this is all about trust and relationship building. Mm -hmm. That's really what it's all mm -hmm. about. If they trust you, then they're going to allow you to go up there and, and make decisions for them because they know that you'll do your homework, that you'll do, you'll research you're the right, facts, right, uh -huh. you'll weigh the pros and cons, and then you make an intelligent decision. Because mm -hmm. that is my job. My job, and I take it serious, is to uh, represent my community. Not the other way around. It's not me for the perks. Mm -hmm. It's not, oh, you're a mayor, you're you, right, you get all right, these yeah, perks. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. not what it's about. It's about the people who expect me to do mm -hmm. the right thing for them. Mm -hmm. Do my homework. Do my research, because I have the time to do that, and they mm -hmm. don't. They're busy working, putting food on the table. So my job is do the research, and then come before them, weigh the facts, and let them know why I fall on one side or the other. That's my job. And then uh, hopefully that they, uh, they believe in that, or they, they respect that, and then they then understand it, and then they'll vote accordingly. It's not my job to tell them how to vote. It's my job to give them the facts, pros and cons. You make the decision. Mm -hmm. uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, your statement, I would say, if I may add on a little bit, I have a taste because, you know, you were born here. I learned of America, mm -hmm. which is good, and then I decided to come here. I was dragged over, right, by what they say. It is good about America. Mm -hmm. You were born here of yes. no, no choice at all, right? <laughs> I, might, I might be more sensitive than you because I was dragged over here, right? Every time, every time I see what your statement like, uh, I feel so confident about my choice, right? Because that's exactly the American politics should be. You know, Jack, I've had an opportunity through a lot of experiences, uh, primarily through Rotary, to travel the world. Mm -hmm. I've been, uh, I love vol what I call volunteerism, where you go to countries to support. I've been well, to uh, India. I've been word. to India four times to do polio uh, drops. Uh, well. I've been to South Africa to do water wells. I have seen poverty face to face. But it's not poverty, it's, it's lack of hope. When people feel they have no hope, no future, so that's, right. that's yeah, the de yeah. devastation. Oh. So when I come back home and I see what our people have, and, and they get upset and they're, they're all ranting and raving, mm -hmm. I wish I could take them to another country and say, here are people that have a yeah, right yeah, to, yeah. to rant and rave. Mm -hmm. They don't have what you have. You're right. upset because you don't have the latest iPhone. Uh, You're upset because you don't have the latest uh, Game Boy. Uh, you don't have the latest car. There are people that walk five miles just to get clean, uh, to get brackish water, not even yeah, clean water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen those women that carry those baskets on their head. You, you, you describe me as, as uh, mm -hmm. you, I see the police or I see the mayor and you. What you really see is the passion. I'm a passionate person. I love people Very and good. I carry that energy with me. I like that. I like that. I like that. And uh, you exactly spoke my word. I would say that you stole, you have stolen my word out of my mouth already. <laughs> okay, exactly the same thing. It's the same thing. When I'm kind of like uh, low, right, you know what I do, right? I go to downtown on Los Angeles Boulevard. I drive and I prepare myself with a little money, some kind of some change. Of course, I dare not open the full yeah. window. <laughs> I open a little bit like yeah. this. I hand up a little bit like that, like that. And I came home a different man. I feel much better. You do. I know. I have what they never have. That's right. Right? And yet I'm complaining. To hell. Why am I? What but you know I? what, Jack, at like least that. you remember. At least mm -hmm. you stop and think how mm -hmm. blessed we are. Yeah. How fortunate yeah. we are. And that I you, try to never forget yeah, that. All right. And also a time uh, like say uh, Thanksgiving evening or Christmas, I do the same thing. Right. I do the same thing. I feel proud of doing it. Oh, by the way, you speak for Rotary. I've been three times and uh, named the uh, governor hero. Really? Uh, Rotary, uh, Rotary, Outstanding. Yeah. 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 And cause, because I'm a past service. district governor. Thank yes. you. All right. Yes. Good. Oh, Lou's, Lou's, Lou's becoming the, the uh, she incoming. She's the incoming. Uh, uh, she's a, a district governor nominee. Of uh, she's, she's 53. 5300. Uh, I'm 5300 okay. also. And the respect uh, the fact that uh, you went to India for three times. And uh, well, people do not uh, do not appreciate uh, what they have until they see poverty. It's my philosophy. It's my philosophy. All right. Back then in China, when I was very little, due to the political whatever thing, we were sent to the lowest 
poorest country or area, so remote to the city, that it takes about two days to come back, something like that. I saw eye to eye. You saw eye to eye. What let, poverty is. Let me show you my philosophy on that because I think it's important to make this statement. At least it is for me that when you see, you know, everybody goes to third world countries and they go, oh, those poor people. Look, they don't have this. They don't have that. Yet they have a smile on their face. They have contentment. They sit with their family uh -huh. and they look at a yeah, sunset. Yeah, 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 I right. come back home and I says, you know what? Mm -hmm. We're poorer than they are because we suffer from yeah, the yeah, 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 the yeah. poverty of affluence. Mm -hmm. well, what do you mean by yeah, that, yeah, Gene? Yeah, 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 yeah. Poverty of affluence. I mean that because we have so much that we insulate ourselves from our neighbor's plight or issues. We don't even think about them. We only think about us. That's the poverty of affluence. You're right. You know what? You're Until right. we can get to the point and say, you know what? I feel my neighbor's pain. I need to help out. I go to Mexico quite a bit. We're doing a rotary project there mm -hmm. uh, called Project, project Hope, where we're, mm -hmm. we're developing a, turning a village into a community, mm -hmm. and more importantly, developing leaders there so they can lead their own community. Yeah, yeah. That's well, important. You're, well, you're, well, you're, well, you're, you're leaving them behind, yes. That's mm -hmm. exactly right. Mm -hmm. So the, the point is, though, that sometimes we become indifferent. That's a terrible sin. To be indifferent to man's pl your fellow man's plight, we'll never have peace in this world until yeah, yeah, everybody right, right, has right. the basics in life. Nowadays, the only thing, the only thing important we're missing, the American value. Now I found it. That is the American value. It is. To cherish what you have, to help others are less fortunate, and to work for more, for better, Oh, forget those, uh, what, uh, politically right or left or right. Forget that thing, right? That's what losers, what losers do. You know what, we're they're, so, they're mm. so nervous that mm. if they support the other party, they're going to make the other party look good. You know what? It's not the party, it's the country. I want our country to look good. If yeah. President Trump fails, mm. we all mm. fail. Yeah. If he succeeds, we all succeed. Yeah. Who cares who you gets go the to, credit? You go, you go to Webster Dictionary to find out the definition of party. It's a members or people, individuals, get together for the same or similar purpose, most often political, Perfect. like that. That is, uh, I can't recite word by word, but the, the explanation definition is there. You want America to live by there, by that, by those, those few lines? No way. <laughs> All right, I um, seems to go back to classroom and I seem to have to, to listen to my mentor in class. I like the concept, sir. I respect a lot. And not only as a friend, I respect you. I do Thank respect you. you for the concept, for the beautiful concept. And you are Belinda, beautiful city. Thank you, you are Belinda. And thank you, the council members, all members. Yeah, I know each of you. And uh, sir, thank you very much. Thank you, Jack. And thank you for the opportunity to share with your audience. Oh, very good.